Hi guys, this is Matthew, and welcome back to another episode of 90 Second Arduino Tutorials. So for today's tutorial, we're going to be working servo motors with an external power source. And that external power source is, is four AA batteries. So the first thing I just want to note out before I start this project is never use a 9 volt battery as your external power so source to power servos because these servos are only fit to handle 6 volts and a 9 volt will just completely burn them out. So never do that. Always use a pack of double A's or a rechargeable battery that is specified for the servo motors. So for the wiring, I'm going to first start off with the connections from the Arduino board to the breadboard. And there, there's only one connection, and that's from the ground port right here, the blue wire, and that goes into the ground rail on the, on the breadboard. Now, there's a lot more wiring regarding the servo motors going into the breadboard, so I'm going to get to that now. So, servo motors, as I can, you can see here, there's a orange, a red, and a brown wire. The red wire is um, power. The orange wire is the digital pin. And the, and the brown wire there is ground. So the red represents power, ground the ground, the blue the ground, and the yellow represents the digital pins. So here I just plug them straight into um, their coordinating rail on the breadboard. So as you can see, the red ones go into the power, um, the blue ones go into the ground here, represented by the color, and then the digital pins go into the Arduino board here. So for the since there's four servo motors. There's four digital pins, and I just pick seven, six, five, and four. Um, you can pick any of your liking, just make sure it's specified in the code. So, uh, moving on to our code here. The first thing you got to do is you're going to include the servo.h library. This is going to um, import different code commands that allows you to control servo motors a lot easier and then you're gonna specify some variables here with some of the library code so you're gonna put servo the capital S and then these are names you can just make up I pick servo 1 servo 2 servo 3 and servo 4 just make sure to have the servo with a capital S first and then for our setup we're just gonna attach these servos so servo 1 is uh, digital pin 7 servo 2 is digital pin 6 Servo 3 it's digital pin 5, and servo 4 is digital, digital pin 4. So pretty simple there. And then for our loop down here, we're going to write um, servo 1 is going to go to 0 degrees, servo 2 is going to go to 0 degrees, all of them are going to 0 degrees, and then a delay of 2,000, which is 2 seconds, and then they're all going to write 180 degrees, 180, 180, 180, and they're going to just go back and forth. Their range, they, servo motors have a range of 0 to 180, so that's why, that's why the values are there. And then we're going to have a final delay of 1 second before it goes back to 0. So now I'm going to run this, and a quick, a quick uh, thing to note out is I'm going to plug my Arduino board in first. You always want to do that first before you connect the power. So, there. so then... I'm going to plug in the red cord into the power on the external power source, the double A's, and then the blue goes into the ground. And these turbo motors are just going to start going. As you can see, two seconds, they start at zero, then they go to 180. Back. All in the same coordinates. Zero, 180. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.